Hello, I'm Rodney Pelletier. Today is July 3rd, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Pope Francis has appointed his longtime personal theologian and ghostwriter to the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith. In September, Argentine prelate Archbishop Victor Emmanuel Fernandez will succeed Cardinal Louis Ladaria Ferrer. Fernandez is a controversial figure who's written over 300 articles and books, including a 1995 book titled, Heal Me With Your Mouth, The Art of Kissing. The 2022 annual disclosure report for Peter's Pence shows the faithful offered the Pope 107 million euros, almost $117 million. The largest contributing country was the United States, followed in order by Korea, Italy, Brazil, and Germany. In recent years, the Vatican has scandalized the world by squandering money on investments, such as a biopic about Elton John, which featured an explicit homosexual scene. The Archdiocese of Baltimore, under the direction of Archbishop William Lorry, has finally added the names of staff credibly accused of sexually abusing children to its official list. The 41 names already made public by Maryland's AG office and in news reports included deacons, nuns, and lay teachers. An advocate for abuse survivors commented, I can't give them a win for revealing the names of survivors we already knew. When they take this long, it should come with an apology, not a victory lap. Planned Parenthood appears to be attacking the definition of virginity. On Thursday, the abortion giant posted a tweet that reads, the idea of virginity comes from outdated, let's be real, patriarchal ways of thinking that hurts everyone. Twitter users blasted the tweet. Comedian Tim Young responded, translation, morality costs us business. The Netherlands has been euthanizing a significant number of people suffering with autism and intellectual handicaps, a new study is revealing. The UK study reported that intellectual disability played a significant role in the suffering of almost a quarter of those euthanized, including many under the age of 30. The researchers noted that doctors decided there was no prospect for improvement for intellectually challenged individuals. I'm Rodney Pelletier. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about Knoxville's bishop stepping down. God bless you.